Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Um, today is my first day of doing the month long challenge of doing a new hairstyle every day. Um, today I'm starting off with ponytail looks and this one uh, is going to be a little bit harder. Um, I don't know why I chose the most difficult one for the first day but I just wanted to wear it. So um, today we're going to do a um, what's it called? I have it on my phone. It's called a Dutch sister braid and it looks like this. Um, I found this on Pinterest, obviously, and, um, I'm just going to basically just do everything that she does in, um, this pin and, um, hope that it works out for the best. So, um, I'm going to be using volumizing hairspray it doesn't have to be this is just the only hairspray I have currently um I'm also I don't have any um clear rubber bands so I'm gonna just be using rubber bands that are skinny and they work with my hair color um and then I just have a couple of bobby pins because I have like you know the little sideburn things that stick out so I like to pin them back up um and I just have like a plain brush so First off, it looks like she splits her hair in the middle because it is like, so we're going to split our hair down the middle, which is not my favorite look on me. I don't know, like I could get away with wearing my hair down the middle, but I actually kind of like it. But anyway, we're about to braid it, so it doesn't matter. And this would probably be easier if I had, like, a teasing comb thing. So that's what I'm going to do. Just go straight back with it. I mean, everybody knows how to part their hair right. I hope so. I mean, because if not, girl, learn that stuff. There. That's better. Well, it's not perfect but you know okay so I'm just gonna take my brush and kind of brush it out here I know it sounds like I'm ripping my hair but I'm not <laughs> I'm gonna like just hold half of my hair over here and kind of like hold it out of the way yeah while I like work on this side so, I think we just kind of start at the top, and I think how you do a Dutch braid is, sorry, you do it underneath instead of crossing over, you cross under. So, it's just like doing a regular French braid. So, I'm going to start it off here. Okay, I'm going to use like a bigger section to start off with because... Um, just cause, so, also if you have bangs, I mean, just kind of like work around your bangs because, you know, it is what it is. Like you can pin them back, just pretend like you don't have them and like keep braiding and then pin them back like they were never there. So that's what I usually do. Okay. Okay. Yeah, this is working better. So basically what I did was I just got a bigger section of the hair. And I know it's hard for you to see what I'm doing, but I'm basically just Dutch braiding my hair back. Okay, now I'm going to turn around and show you the back. Can you see it? Okay. So basically for a French braid, you, you pull over. But for this Dutch braid, you pull 
binder. So that's basically what it's going to look like. And then I'm going to braid down extra far because when we put it in a ponytail, I'll be able to take these rubber bands out so that we don't have 100 rubber bands on our hair. So I just braid it down just a little bit extra there like that. Girl, this is going to be so cute, I hope. So, putting that there. Okay, that's uh, the beginning. I have this little bump here. I'm not too concerned. I will probably just, you know, pin it back eventually. Um, okay, starting with the next side. Okay, so now that's complete. Um, the top, to me, looks pretty good. Um, I'll probably put a couple of pins in it and, you know, my little wispies on the side here. Um, but real quick, I'm just going to, like, kind of spray a little bit. Just a teeny tiny bit because we're about to pull apart the braid. Basically, you're just going to take the braids and, like, pull them apart and loosen them. So I'll show you that. Okay, I mean, you know, I guess that's what it's supposed to look like. I just kind of pulled them apart, you know? Yeah. Okay, so last but not least, we're just going to tie them together in the back. Um, oh girl, that made it look sloppy. So... Okay, and then from here, you can pull a little bit more if you want to. Um, I'm feeling like I should. I can't really see the back of my head, though. So. And then from here, I'm just going to pull the rest of these braids out. Just like that. And if you have problem areas, like I obviously do, um... I'm just gonna pin like this little thing down. Try to hide your bobby pins as much as possible because we want this look to look kind of effortless, I guess. Um, but then I have this little issue. Okay. And then. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to get my wispies over here. This side looks pretty good. I don't really need to do too much um, like that. So, um, that's pretty much what it is. I'm just going to spray it. Like, you know, give, give it a good amount. Also, like I said, if your bangs are being strange, just kind of tell them who's boss, you know. Pin them up in there. Okay, so I think it looks pretty cute from the front. Like, it's not the most adorable thing ever, but, um... Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to hide the rubber band. So we're just going to take, like, a little piece of hair and just 
wrap it around the rubber band. It's like pretty easy. And then just get a, um, a pin and just tuck it in. Okay, so I'm gonna turn around and show you and hopefully it looks good. to do the first tutorial um I hope it looks good I can't really see it um yeah but I'm excited to like try to take a picture of it hopefully that hopefully it looks good so anyway um I hope you enjoyed this tomorrow I'm just gonna do something a little bit simpler um but it'll still be really cute also if you wanted to curl your ponytail you totally could but I'm just kind of leaving mine the way it is so Anyway, um, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and until next time, bye guys.